do that. Do that. Additionally, Additionally, I think, I think there, there is some evidence or belief that this is a great question because it does follow the logic that we don't want to be bracing anything for long periods of time um, because then your body does not learn to create that support on its own. It's a little bit different when we're talking about the pelvic floor and we're talking about prolapse because it does allow continue to do activities that we may not be able to do without some added support. Also, that we yeah, want we to want decrease to downward, downward pressure, pressure and that's a way that can help, help provide that support if we are still so continuing to learn that technique. So if so you are early on, on and you're trying to get back, back and you're trying, you're trying to practice, practice these things, things we'd love for you to have that have support, support while you try, try to do that. To do that. Additionally, Additionally, I think there, I think is, there some is some evidence, evidence or, or belief that, that wearing, wearing a pessary while you are completing pelvic floor strengthening can actually be advantageous to helping you put um, those, those organs, organs in a more in optimal, optimal position, position to create strengthening. So, so there's really, really not, not a downside. downside. Lots of Lots really of good, really good questions, questions along this, this line, line and sphincters and, and um, leakage, leakage and staining, and staining which, which is, is like, like continual, continual wiping. wiping. And, and constipation's, constipation's a, very a very sneaky thing. thing. Um, um, if, if you are you constipated, constipated, sometimes you sometimes don't, don't even know. know. And, and what, what happens, happens over, over time, time is, is that the, the stool, stool is, sitting is sitting longer in the colon, in the colon and, the and the rectum stretches, stretches out. out. When the rectum, the rectum stretches, stretches out holding that, that yes, we yes, get backed we up. up. The new the stuff can come in and that can sneak out around the hardened stool. But additionally, we don't get the message sent about needing to go to the bathroom because our rectum has become stretched out. And so restoring that and trying to get the rectum back to that size by training our bowel habits is really important. And it thinks about things like dietary influence and fiber. Normalizing stool consistency through diet, water, and fiber. Um, you don't want to be too watery and runny, and you don't want to be too hard. Um, as well as opposite of bladder stuff that we talk about, you want to encourage sitting on the toilet more because essentially the rectum can get stretched out and then it doesn't send us the message that we need to go, which is how the backup starts to happen. And so after a meal, if you can sit on the toilet, with good, good bowel, bowel habits, habits feet, feet elevated, elevated relaxed, relaxed breathing, breathing, those sorts, those of, sorts things, of things, and see if you can encourage a bowel, bowel movement to happen with the with natural, natural uh, messages, that are, messages that are being sent through your nervous system, system with digestion and everything, and everything that if you can start to go to more go frequently, frequently to allow that rectum to clear and then work and towards coming back to its not stretched out size, which can take time. And so it's a very purposeful, conscious,